Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening and welcome back to Music Scrap Musical Scrapper. Part two, I guess. I just lost the recorded button, so thank goodness I noticed it. <sighs> anyway. Okay, so as I was just about to say, this is my mom and dad's wedding photo. And this is 12 by 12 embossed thing. I have one of those Fiskars 12 by 12 table thingies where you put the template in and it you use the stylus to emboss. So that's how I did that. I embossed it by hand with that template thing. It's hard to see through the thing. Now... I'll explain this. My dad was Bernard Anthony Pitts, but he was actually Petipaw. His family name is Petipaw. Um, and he married, he and two of his brothers, well, the whole family was Catholic, Roman Catholic. And he and two of his brothers, all three of them married Presbyterians and were basically excommunicated from the family parents didn't attend the weddings anyway so they dad had been going by pits for a number of years and when he went to get married the minister was like well I can't marry you as pits because your birth certificate is pedipaw so they had to get married as pedipaw and then legally go to a lawyer and legally change their name to pits and the lawyer dragged it out and dragged it out and dragged it out, assuming they'd be having children right away. <clears throat> well, it didn't happen right away. He dragged it out for five years until after my oldest sister was born. Anyway, so then they legally became pits in 1961. Oh, no. So, be prepared, folks. Here comes the fun pages. So, this was the 60s, so I chose a paper that was, yeesh, like the 60s. <laughs> There's me as a baby. Look at me. Look at me. Look how cute I am. Blonde, blonde, blonde hair. Why did he choose pits, Carol? Because for some reason in our area, there are a number of, fam of families that were Petipaw. Um, because we were in Nova Scotia, and the French in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, um, they weren't expelled, expelled to New Orleans by the British like they were in New Brunswick, or they didn't leave, they kind of hid. But there was no schooling, nothing in French for them. So they all had to go to school in English, they lost their language. And being the hillbilly type folk that they are in that area, everybody assumed that Pitts was English for Petipa. P-E-T-T-I-P-A-S as compared to Pitts. So uh, there are a number of Petipa families who became Pitts. That's why he chose Pitts. <laughs> That's true. There is green in it, Sherry, of course. Definitely 60s. <laughs> There's Mom teaching me how to swim. But notice the photos are trimmed with those Fisker's shape, shaper thingies. Mm, so it says, ah, sweet, 1960s. <clears throat> There's me and my dad. You can see how skinny I was when I was growing up. My dad over here. This is my mom's brother, Uncle Henry, and he worked in the Canadian Embassy in Virginia as a custodian. He was a trained teacher, but he, he 
couldn't teach. He was he was too bright actually to teach. And there's the three of us. There's my older sister and one of our neighbors getting ready for school. Thank you, Jerry Ann. Oh, hi, Jerry Ann. Didn't see you come in there. Welcome. And Eileen has come in. I don't, I can't remember if I said hi to Eileen. Oh, Pavla. Hi, Pavla. Pavla has come in since I, uh, Oh, Gautier. Oh. Yeah, Gautier. Mm. Wow. That's interesting, Brenda. Yeah. So this is interesting, all the different reasons why names get changed. <clears throat> and here's me. There I am singing at a concert. My one and only <coughs> Halloween photo. As you can see, I bought a crimper and used my crimper on this page. And it says all around the edge, it says the Pitts Sisters. Did that with my Cricut. It was cool. <laughs> don't ask me why I chose pink. I don't like pink. <clears throat> Presto sitting right beside me for a change today. She stayed on the stool and she's snoring away here. Hey Presto. What you doing, cutie? Hello. There we go. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> They're interesting. See, I mean now I would never trim a photo in a shape like that. I know better. Oh yeah, and there's the three of us, the other three of us that Halloween, my two sisters and I. Now this page I really like. Love of this page. I thought it was so creative when I did this. I was done with my Cricut, of course. See, I cut out the books because these are all our school photos. Yeah. Cut out the little crayons, the scissors. Did the journaling. I, I found a, a curved, something curved, draw my lines so I could write in the book. Isn't that nice, Brenda, out at B3? I love it. I really like that layout. But as you can see, normally I'm not a, I'm not a, even when I started, I wasn't a four by six uh, scrapbooker, except for the important pages, like my mom's, mom and dad's wedding and my mom's graduation. Those kinds of pages, I like to do the one photo. But normally I like to get as many photos on the page as I can. So... Now this is our dance photos. We took tap and ballet. So it says, shall we dance? And then on this side, it says, yes, tap and ballet. And notice on the bottom, I have the audience watching us. And these are like photos on, these are supposed to be like photos on the wall. That was the effect I was trying for. <clears throat> we 
we did the tarantella. Mom made all these outfits. Mom was the basically the costumer for our dance troupe. And uh, so, excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm tired, I guess. Hey, Barb. How are you? I'm just showing off my first scrapbook. So, Canada Day, of course, is July 1st. And my hometown of Westville is just a little town of 4,000 people about. And it has one of the largest July 1st parades and celebrations um, in all of Canada, actually. Um, there's always a fair and a, a music kind of festival thing and a princess pageant and a, a wonderful street parade with pipe bands and floats and lots of lots of fun stuff and the firework display. So this these photos were um, I don't know exactly what year, but I look like I'm about six or seven. So it would have been 1970, 1971, somewhere around there. And our dance um, troupe put a big float in the parade. So I'm in this box sitting here. That year we were, my sister and I did a dance called the doll dance. So we were dressed like dolls. So this is our double layout. And this was another year where my sister and I went in two different years here. Um, this year, we, this one, I think we were in the children's parade. And this one, I think we went in the original regular parade. So. All right. And then Barb and those who are just coming in, I'm just showing my first <laughs> um, scrapbook that I ever did, my 12 by 12 layouts. There is an infamous photo of us in our crocheted outfits, crocheted with Fentex yarn. And we each had tights in the same color as our outfit because of course they were done like with the uh, almost like that granny square stitch with the three double crochets chain three three double crochets chain three yeah so there were holes in our pants so yeah I can't believe mom actually got us to wear those but we did it was the style it was styling back then oh hi Dar and there's me. See, I told you I played the bagpipes. Look. Told you. There I am playing the bagpipes. Yep. There's mom talking on the phone in her house dress. There's me singing. Ooh, look at that nice short dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, style and barb. Mm -hmm. You could say that. <laughs> uh, and that's what I have at the top. It says, what style? Anyway. Then there's this extended family page. These are the, I don't know why I don't have photos of all of our grant, of our, um, foster kids but anyway this is these are the foster kids photos that I could find hey Erica nice to see you yeah Kathy oh boy and um this is camping photos 
We belong to NCHA, National Campers and Hikers Association. So these are different camper camping photos. This is the year I was in our, our provincial princess pageant for the camp out. And I got first runner up. There's me with two of the judges. So that's my dad. He loved to barbecue. You had pipes at your wedding, Kathy? Oh, cool. Nice. And that's the last page. That is it. That was as far as I got. Now, when I got that far, I did a whole, um, for my cousin that I, is, is like one of my best friends, I did a album for her for her 50th birthday. So I had 20, I think 20 pages in her album, or 22 maybe. Um, I got photos from her mom, and it was a surprise. So I, so... Anyway, so that's the extent. So I, so I got up that far, up to uh, the 1970s. Still working on that. So that was my style then. So now I'm working on some Project Life layouts. You saw me do some. I'm going to show you what I've got done. This is for my sister. <clears throat> my sister's album. <clears throat> so this one I did last week on my stream of my heritage photos of my mom's family. So my mom's mother's family and my mom's father's family. So actually this is my mom's mom's family. This is my Grammy. And this is my grandfather right here. And then this is them later on, and this is my grandfather right there. So that page I did last week. So I just, I, my sister is safely in Germany with her daughter and grandson and son-in-law for two weeks in Germany. So that's great. And um, I sent her an email saying, so do you want me to journal or do you want to do it in your own handwriting? Because her handwriting is neater than mine. We write very similar, but hers is neater. And she said, I can do some journaling, just leave her some space. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And so then on the back of that page are some more heritage photos. Same ones that I have in my book but all in three by four. Okay, hold on. Oh. I scratched myself and now I'm bleeding. Jeez Louise, I never learn. Let me stick the... And no Barb, I didn't cut myself with some wayward. Okay. So there's that one. And this one I just tweeted. This is my, I really love this photo, this one, this layout. It's my mom and dad's wedding photo. There are seven layers of paper here, including the uh, photo. I actually use the same paper as I used last week on Stacia and Karsten's uh, layout. And then this one I just finished now, just before I came on air. And so this is my mom and dad's wedding, and this is mom's mother and father, Grammy and Grampy. They died when I was, they both died when within six months of each other when I was a year old. So I never really got to meet them. And this is Florence, my cousin, her flower, their flower girl. So we did a little journaling on there. And then 
<clears throat> so this one I did last week. This is Karsten and Stacia. They're not going to be, there's going to be lots of photos in between these in the book. So it's not like they're going to be beside each other with the same paper and everything. And then this is the back. So this is my niece that got married. There's their kiss. This is my niece that got married um, at the tattoo, Nova Scotia tattoo in 2012. So there we are sitting after the wedding ceremony. They came up and sat in the audience with us. So that's our spot what, to watch the show. And there's my niece and her mom. That's my older sister. And Stacia. They look like sisters. <laughs> And this is, so that's Karsten and Stacia, and that is the director of the German band that was there that played the music for them for their wedding. So he came up to say hi at intermission. And then that is Stacia, uh, Stacia and my youngest niece, Jessica. Hey, Susan. Nice to see you. And I love this paper. This is that, uh, uh, which one is it? By um, Recollections. Oh, so I really like that layout too. And then this is same paper collection. And we got our photo, they took their photos at the Waverly Inn where we stayed. That's my younger sister with baby Till. There's all of us, so our family, side of the family. And this is the reception. There was just 20 of us at the wedding. It was a nice small wedding, just immediate family and a couple of friends, their friends. And so we had it in a private room in a, a, a restaurant in downtown Halifax called Chives. It was very yummy. Hey, Karen. Nice to see you. <clears throat> and then after the reception, we did a, <clears throat> a midnight or 11 o'clock. It was a two-hour tour of Halifax Harbor on a, on a ship. So it was really fun. They had a live band on board and so that's them sitting outside the ship. It was Karsten, Stacia. I had to get that picture of Stacia with a beer in each hand, of course, because Karsten had to go to the washroom or something, so she was holding this beer for him. And there's Karsten and my sister. Of course, Stacia's sitting there beside him. And then the next day after the wedding, <clears throat> we went to Peggy's Cove. <clears throat> Peggy's Cove is a natural, it's a provincial park. And it's on the coast, south of Halifax. And it was, it is still a working um, uh, lighthouse. It is not, it is a provincial park, but it's, it's, a lot of it is private land. It's privately owned. And so it's free. It does not cost anything to go and walk around. And it's just, as you can see, it's just beautiful. The coastline is completely different here. All rocks. A lot of old houses, still original, and wonderful boats. It's beautiful. Peggy's Cove, it's called. <clears throat> hey, Catherine.
Kathleen. Kathleen, I mean. <laughs> Kathleen, nice to see you. It's been so long. Wow. Glad you got your computer fixed finally. And then this is, we of course had lunch there, but there's Stacia and Karsten and Till with the famous lighthouse in the background. And there's eating. There's my foster brother, Ralph. He came with us that day. And my mom and my little sister. There's me. There's Ralph and I. And there's Ralph and myself and Mom. Mom had never been to Peggy's Cove. Actually, neither had my sister, older sister. And she didn't want to, she wasn't going to come. Mom's one of those people, she's a real homebody. She loves to be home. She's shy. She doesn't like being out, being around people that she doesn't know. And But once you get her out there, she always enjoys herself. So it's always... Always a chore getting her out there. Oh, good for you, Kathleen. Fixed her computer herself. Wow. So, and of course, Mom can't do a lot of walking, so we said... Mom, it's no big deal. It's all, um, I mean, obviously she can, couldn't go up in the walks, but they do have a cement path that's all suitable for, um, for um, wheelchairs and everything. So she had a great day. She really enjoyed it. I was like, see, I told you you'd have fun. <laughs> so... It's just wonderful, Brenda, B3. It's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. It's beautiful. So that's as far as I got in that book. So I'm going to do some more pages in this book. I've got the uh, photos all ready to go. I'm just going to get these back into the book so they don't end up on the floor somewhere and get trampled on. Oh, don't think I can do them all at once. Hold on. Do a couple at a time here. All right. Hold on. They're not all the same size. It's the 12 by 12 single ones that are smaller. It's hard to get them lined up. Most of these I got done yesterday, except the ones I did last week on my stream. So, okay. Thanks, Susan. Whoops, they're all pictures that um, I took. My camera. I'm a lovely cannon. Okay. Alrighty. So, let me put... my light back on. So I can see what I'm working on. Alright. So, I've got photos all cut and ready to go here. So, I'm going to do... First of all, all right, so I've got, these are three by threes because they came from old, almost square photos. 
so I can do any other kind of layout here. Hold on, gotta get a see which. Uh, All right, so I'm going to use this one. Of course, that brings back the glare, darn it. Well, let me move this back a little bit. Maybe it won't be as bad. It's kind of like, that's not too bad, I guess. Yes, it does. I love my cannon. Okay. So these are from the 60s, so I'm going to use some paper that would this paper. Some of it's kind of, I don't know why I bought it. I have no idea why I bought this and it wasn't very long ago. It's GCD Studios. <clears throat> um, it was not very long ago that I bought this. Let's get this on the other side. Um, I think. Hold on. I'm gonna look at this side here. Yeah. So this one, these will match. All right, so the four by sixes go this way. So I think I'll use two. I use this one and I'll use Where's the other one? Look at that, it's got almost the same flowers on it. Maybe I'll use those. Cool, Kathleen, no problem. Yes, and my new purchase this week is this Exacto 6x9 trimmer at Dollarama for three bucks. And it even has a magnetic, I just have that in there because it's a magnetic paperclip holder. This slides open. I don't have anything in it yet, but. It does slide open if I can make it slide. And it has space there for pencils, pens, scissors, whatever. Sorry, there's storage room inside. Now, the markings were not white. The markings were just etched and so I took my Sharpie paint pen 
and went over them and then wiped it off so that it would take up the white so I could see. So, all right, as you can see, I've got oh, a whole bunch of stuff on my desk. I can't, oh, I can't cut the other paper with this, but I will cut these with it. Oops, didn't put that back in its slot. Hold on, there we go. Six inch marks right there. It'll cut right down to a sliver. So that's good. Actually, cuts a nicer cut than my. Uh, My slivers. Let me go down a sliver here. Um, <laughs> makes nicer edges, the edges than my brand new blade that I put in my uh, other trimmer. Definitely. Okay, B three, no problem. Slightly less than there we go. six. All right, so that's two. I have to use my other trimmer. I just wanted to show you that. at six and it doesn't matter which way it goes this particular pattern so I'm just going to cut it at six and I'm going to trim it at four and four Now, I need to cut the three by four. And another one into three by four. Okay, Erica. Now I think hmm, I may want to Um, hmm. I think I will do two of them that way and two of them this way. So there's not too much color. It's not bad anyway when they're covered up. I must be practicing my opera. Oh, I'm 
gonna have to refill my gun in a moment. Any moment. Oh gosh, almost forgot. All right, what color will I use? Oh, my green will look nice with this. I don't want to lose any of my inks behind the desk. Actually, I think I will move these two because that's what's not the same. I don't want to think. Uh oh. Goodness, not so much junk here. There we go. Let's put these two out of the way. All right, my green. Oops. Okay, and I need my dauber. Green dauber. along the edge. I don't want any of the ink to really get on the photo. Just don't want it to be white. On the edge. I have a great dislike for white edges, that is. <laughs> that sounded bad the way I stopped. <laughs> Oh no, Manitoba's way ahead of Nova Scotia. Oh, fooey. Sorry, that's curling. I just want to get this on before I put something on top of the. Sorry, I'll try not to be off camera here too much when I'm inking this. Remember that I'm streaming here. Now this is my two sisters and I and our cousin Al. We went to visit them over on PEI, Prince Edward Island. Bye Kathleen. This is that picture of my Uncle Henry. Notice that my older sister got to hold the cat in the picture. Kitten. It was actually a pretty new kitten we got. Can't remember the name. No idea. We had so many cats and kittens over the years we lived on kind of like a main drag and of course back then you know there was no such thing as an indoor cat and uh, of course my dad always pretended he hated cats but it was actually that he liked them and he couldn't stand being the one that 
had to bury them when they got hit by a car. No jam. Well, you could have made me a coffee there, Jen. Thanks. I forgot to get one before I started. I went searching for that scrapbook, and then I had to make a quick phone call. All right, now where are my large these ones? I'm just going to do the very edge of these. And I'm going to need two of these four by six ones of this pattern paper. Huh, now am I going to do this or this? Hmm. I think I'm going to put, I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet. So. They'll be journaling, so they'll be journaling cards, so I will do this side. I well, guess I won't need journaling cards on this because, right, because then I've got the other four by sixes for journaling. Right, right, right. right. This is a, hold on, this is going to be a, oh, just a moment, oh dear, yeah, this is going to be a, yeah, okay, so this is going to be a front page, okay, all right. so that's going to go there. Okay, Jan, see you later. <sighs> okay, so that's that so far. Yeah, no, I'm not sure I like that. Yeah, don't like it. So those will go back. I'll use them another time. And I'm just going to use these. I'll use these on this side.
straight back to my inking. I know, just when you guys thought I was done. Ha <laughs> ha, fooled you. So, so Barb, how are Chance and Charlie today? Any news? <laughs> Haven't seen any recent tweets. They must be keeping out of trouble. And I like my things to be at least somewhat lined up, so. <laughs> oh no, Barb, lots of cat. Yes, that's for sure. Lots of cat. Hey, Charlie. Hi, Chance. Someone sent me a tweet. No response? Oh. Changed your Twitter to green. Well, that's all. Uh, that's a good thing. I wish they changed my Twitter to green. All right. Now, since I changed those out, I am going to need. couple of journaling cards. Oh, would it look better to have the journaling? Oh yeah, I think I need to hide some of that. Unbelievable print.
<laughs> Eileen. Why not if it was me you would say something? Huh, that's not fair. I was ignoring it because I'm nice, but I don't know why Eileen is. So I'm going to just do one little thing about each photo here on the, before I glue down the cards in case I mess it up. So I'm going to do picture one and two on this, picture three and four on this one. Wanting to teach Jimmy to swim from the Janet Let's put on Mary. All right, that can go on. Bye, Barb. <laughs> few swipes of adhesive left here. Oh, I had two cards there instead of one. And so I just put the... <laughs> okay. That's funny. Put that over there until I need another one. I put the adhesive on the wrong one because they were too stuck together. Jeet and Janet goes for mom. And this was in July, I think. Jeet and Janet. 
August and September, so she would be 22. Yes. There's that. Journaling done. And this is the object for two this time. Oh, they're uploading to YouTube, huh? Mm hmm. So everybody's doing that trick now. Pretty soon, YouTube's probably going to start charging or something. see Paula got it all figured out because Paula's uh, getting hers all uploaded which is great Back in the same spot, being that smart. Okay. There we go. Now, I want to add a little something to those two pages. And there was a page here that had <clears throat> some banners and stuff. So, What I'll do is trim out the green one here. And the teal one. Excuse me. And I don't need this whole thing, so let's just do half of it. Hold on. And away. OK. 
hair there's a little bit of white because I'm going to ink it anyway. I might use those may not, but I've got them cut out anyway. All right, this is going on top of the green. Oh, Jonna, your journal is so gorgeous. Oh, of course, I said that after she leaves for a minute. She goes, be right back, and then I tell her how gorgeous her journal is. Come on. Still have a little tape there. I'm going to use it right down to the end. Oops, missed a spot in the middle here. All right, so now I just need six inches and six inches. Oops, put it away upside down. It's actually a pretty light one. It's lighter than I thought it was initially. All right, let's put away this tissue in the garbage. You're sorry you're back? I'm not sorry you're back, Jonna. <laughs> All right, so page laid out here again. Oh. All right, so Okay, I think I don't think I'm gonna use those right now. Um, so much left. I was wondering. Okay. I'm just going to stick these inside so they don't get lost from the paper pack they belong to. <laughs> I know. I was just teasing you, Jonna. Goodness. I should have inked the edge of that 
stripe one before I put it on there, but oh, I didn't, so it's too late now. Almost at the end. It's so hard the last couple rounds. Whoops. Actually, I put a new one on yesterday, so I went through a fair amount of tape getting my, those pages together yesterday. So I'm going to do we are and then family here. And I'm going to use my favorite stamp set. This is a stamp set by Making Memories. Got it at Michael's a while ago. Looking for the stamps. I do this on the fly. I do not plan ahead. It just kind of comes to me as I work. So there's no way I could have. Usually the first letter you find is the W because you never need it. And now I need it. I can't find it. There it is. We are and adding A I L. A I and L. And L. Is that the L or the letter one? Number one, I mean. Good question, Jean. No, it must be the L because it's too big to be the one. Obviously, I'm 
I'm going to use the green. Okay, so I think I'll stamp the A first. Hi, Susan. Nice to see you. Still breathing heavy again. clean my stamps if I use distress ink or but not when I use archival because it's not it's not going to be I kind of need it so it's not as you know not quite as boring. All right. <clears throat> going to stick a little bit of glue under here because it's going to bend up where I had to pick it up, pull it up and move it. And I'll put 
much in a brand new bottle and it squeezed a wee bit too hard, of course. 